Good morning, Paldea region! Finally! It's about time we started a Pokemon Scarlet. From tradition... Taking lessons from traditional, growing strong... Uh, from tradition, growing stronger and greater. It's time for you, too, to dive into the world of Pokemon. Nimona! Hey! Director Clavel, head of Naranja Academy. I think that's the name of the academy for Scarlet. Paldea is, is a sprawling region bursting with lush nature and magnificent landscapes. It is also, of course, home to the mysterious creatures known to us as Pokemon. They reside here in great numbers, in fact. Hey, yo, that's Pommy! Pommy! Okay. Pokemon can be found living all over, in the seas, in the skies, even in our own cities and towns. We humans coexist with Pokemon as we both help one another to live and thrive. Naranja Academy is here to help you learn even more about these precious partners. What the fuck is that? Within our halls, people from all regions gather to study together. Are you serious? There is a regional variant of Tauros? And as Pokemon trainers, they have their Pokemon do battle, growing alongside them. While our robust uh, curriculum of coursework helps our students draw forth their fullest potential. Hatterene, Magnemite, Pikachu, I see Rockruff, Drifblim. We, the faculty and staff at Naranja Academy, can't wait to welcome you with open arms. It's the legendary. I f oh my god, I forgot what his name is. Let's go! Woo! Oh, what are those birds? That's a new bird Pokemon. Oh, look at the Tauros! Eevee! Oh my god. What are the- <laughs> Flamingos? Are you serious? Just decided to go dip, go for a dip. What are those? What are those bird Pokemon? Uh, also, if I need to, m if I figure out that my webcam is blocking something on the screen, I'll move it. Oh, just look at you! All ready for your big first day. Yes, the uniform of our storied, uh, storied academy suits it quite well indeed. Oh, gracious. How very careless of me. I had entirely forgotten that I have something else for you, Master Shadow. A most important thing. But your living room is hardly the place for it. Would you care to follow me outside? Is this the Pokemon partner? I wonder what this important thing might be. Let's follow the director out and see, shall we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This 100% has to be the Pokemon partner, huh? I already have who I want my partner to be in mind. I already know who I want in mind. I'm not saying it right now. I'm not saying it right now. I want y'all to find out for yourselves. Come on. Let's hold up. Right then. Right then, dear Pokemon. Time to come out of your Pokeballs. Spragatito. Fue Coco, Quaxley. We provide each student entering the academy a Pokemon of their own. I'll ask you to choose which among these three you'd like to have as your partner. Sprigatito, the grass cat Pokemon. Oh my god, the, f the freaking sound and the purr is too cute. 
Oh, no. Fue Coco, the fire croc Pokemon. Yep. And Quaxley, the duckling Pokemon. They're all very good company. Why, they usually refuse to even leave my side. What's this? Hmm, so it turns out they're more interested in you, Master Shadow, than familiar old me. I do wish I could stay and see which one you'll choose, but I must be off to my next home visit. I'll be at the house just over there. Take your time with your decision, then come find me once your mind is made up. Now if you'll excuse me, until next we meet. I know who I want! I'm a manly fellow that director is. These three are all lovely, but you need to choose just one, right? Not an easy task. Why not take this opportunity to walk about with these little ones and get to know them? I'm sure they have lots to teach you. Oh, but before you go, I got a little something to celebrate your big day. Take it with you if you're going out on your own. And the roll time phone. Okay. The latest model of smartphone, a Pokemon called Rotom lives within it, and it can be used to run all sorts of handy apps. It's a brand new phone. According to the instructions, you can check the map app by pressing the Y button. That'll help keep you from getting lost, so take good care of your new gadget, okay? Now off you go. Have fun! Ha ha ha! Dead! Whoa! What the two? Where'd they go? Oh no. <laughs> Craxley. Oh. Fue Coco. <laughs> All three of them are cute. Are you these three's trainer? Not quite. Master Shadow has yet to make his choice, you see. I do wonder which of them he will choose as his trainer. Ah, Fue Coco just wanted an apple! <laughs> well, I know exactly who I'm choosing. I'm sorry. All three of them are adorable. What? <laughs> Breaks my heart who I have to that I have to choose one. Have you decided which of these Pokemon you would like to be your first partner? Yes. Ever since the first trailer, I've known who I wanted as my partner and has not changed since February. <laughs> I'm sorry, Fue Coco, I'm sorry, Sprigatito. Fue Coco versus Quaxley! Come on, Shadow. Let us have a fruitful battle. I still don't understand the freaking arm brace or whatever. Pokemon Train and Nimona. What is this music? So let's just have some fun. Okay, okay. Uh... Okay, so it seems like my webcam's blocking the icons in the bottom right. Got it, got it. I'll have to move my webcam in a little bit. Oh, he knows Water Gun right off the bat. Okay, let's go. Must have been studying up. Smart move. Water is strong against fire. Hey, I'm a, I'm a veteran. I'm a veteran. I've been around since Generation 5. Actually, no. Would that be considered? No, I think veteran would be if you're, if you've been around Pokemon since generations one or two. What was that? That was a camera glitch. Wow, not bad, neighbor. Three hundred Poke dollars in prize money. Okay. Okay, yeah. Nah, there, there's the first camera glitch. Uh, people have been saying that Pokemon Scarlet Violet, even though it's amazing graphic-wise, it's kind of a little bit of a buggy mess. Oh, 
Oh, wait. A couple of hound hours. What are they doing? Good. What are you doing, hound hours? Whoa. <laughs> the Rotom phone. <laughs> yep, yep. Wait, I think his name is uh, Koridon, right? Is he just hungry? Are you serious? Mysterious Pokemon seems to be too weak to move. Maybe you can give it something to help it perk up? Uh... Hmm... Ask her. Fine! Fine! The sandwich. Yeah. I'm offering you a sandwich, bro. Seems like he likes it. You're welcome. That was meant to be my lunch, but screw it. I'll just get something from the school uh, cafeteria. Hey, yo, is it pizza day? What's going on? Oh, is he back at full power now? Go do your thing. At least <laughs> let me know your name. I can't remember if it's Koridon or Maridon. It's one of those two. I forgot which one's which. Who's that? Oh, at the window. Is that Avery? I remember seeing you from the trailer. Why that little? What are you doing out here? Huh? I'm not talking to you two. You can shove off. Oh my, I said Avery, it's Arvin. <laughs> my bad. Wait, I know you. Aren't you Arvin? You're enrolled in the humanities track, right? And aren't you the son of that Pokemon researcher, Professor Sada? Really? Professor Sada has a son? Hmm. Doesn't matter who my mom is. The real issue here is what in the world this Pokemon is doing out here. And what is with this form it's in? See, we heard the strange cry and we tried to investigate, but Shadow fell off the cliff. That Pokemon saved him, but it seems like it wore itself out in the process. It got kind of slumpy afterwards. But you should have seen it before. It looked totally different. It was unbelievably strong. Well, yeah, as it should be, but it can't fight while it's like this. The form Koridon takes in battle, that's its true form. 
Koridon? Is that this Pokemon's name? How'd you know it? You can't go in the lab. It's locked. I don't remember ever seeing you around, but given the uniform, you go to the academy too, do, do you? Koridon isn't the sort of Pokemon that any old trainer can hope to command. It's special. Special how? What sort of Pokemon is it? You think you're up to ordering Koridon around? Then how about I test your worthiness? Sure. <laughs> well, look at you. Quite the little go-getter. I could use some experience points. I've been feeling all, all out of sorts, so I'm going to use this battle to blast these doldrums away. Pokemon Trainer Avery. I think, uh... I think after this battle or so, uh... I'll see about fixing my webcam in a little bit. These memories are leaving a bad taste in my mouth, and I want it gone! Bite. Work up, I know, uh, raises the attack and special attack, I think, right? Yeah, attack and special attack. Oh! Is bite all you know? But then again, I could have used pound. Yeah, maybe focus a bit more next time, eh, hey, Arvin? Seems you know a thing or two about battle. 300 in prize money? Okay. Let me, s let me see what you got, kid. If you talk to a Pokemon trainer like me, it means we're gonna battle. Youngster Elian. What the f What is this fucking bug, dude? Wait, what? Oh. Wait. I think... I might have... <laughs> um, I might have misclicked. I might have misclicked. No shot, dude. Wait. I need, uh, where's the map? There we go. Okay, that saves me the trouble. Thank you, Taxi. <laughs> that was a miss. 100% a misclick. Ha 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 ha! Alright, now let's try this again. With this little dude. Yes. Let's try again and pay attention to the buttons. Work up. 
But now I just realized, they, ch they changed it now to where you can actually run from the trainer battles, but in response, you'd have to give money to the freaking uh, other trainer. Oh, that's bull. That is complete bull. You may be decreasing my speed, but I am working myself up. So speed is down by four, and spe attack and special attack is up by two. Okay, so it's just plain bug. What the fuck? It's a good thing I used pound. There we go. Uh, LeChonk just learned Disarming Voice and Fletchling learned Quick Attack. Okay. Bro, this looks so amazing. Magikarp! Got some Magikarps. What is that in the water? What's that in the water? Scramble back out. What the? Oh, sorry, I can't go. What is that? <gasps> Wait a second. Oh, gimme, 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 gimme. Yes! Haldane Whooper! One more. Do it. Give me Haldean Whooper. Yes, sir. Oh, here comes Nimona. on the hill? Bet your Pokemon are getting stronger. How about you show me just how much you all have learned in a battle? Let's go! I like having a friend around. Let's have a fruitful battle. Alright, Nimona. Let me see what you got now. Fue Coco! I just now realized we're in front of the door. I think she's gonna have a pommy. So I'm coming at you with two Pokemon this time. Fly Coco and Pommy. Yep, I was right. A water gun. I can tell how badly you wanna win. Oh yeah. Round. You know round? Yeah. Oh, Whooper has a poison tail. Nice. Okay. It's about to send up, send up. Yeah, electric type. Uh, switch Pokemon. Oh, wait. Okay, so it gives me. It lets me know what the typing for the Terra type is. Oh, flying. Psychic. Okay. Well, I mean, she's sending out Pommy, so I might as well send out Whoop. Uh, send in Whooper. Doing even better than I expected. Feels like shit, Shadow. <laughs> it's like games like these, like strategy-wise RPGs for me, 
and my brain goes into overdrive trying to think of a million different possible scenarios. Are you kidding me? Oh, it still works because of a freaking, uh, I chose Mud Shot. What is... Boost of the Pokemon's Terror type more power? Thundershock, but it has no effect. Ha! Speed fell! Are you serious? Thunder Shock again, and it didn't work. Namona. I like that little. I like that little animation, though. Oh, echoed voice for Lechonk. Yeah, Whooper! I can't believe how fast you're improving. As he... As the dumbest te uh, team sign I've ever seen. And I've dealt with Yell and Skull. Poison and normal, okay. Team Skull, Team Skull from Alola makes these guys look like jokes. Where's Plumeria when she when you need her? How come I'm the one seeing stars? Shut up and get out of my face. Shut up and get out of my face. But this is also the perfect chance for you to try my amazing and ultra rare gift to you. Oh boy. Ah, that was a small little glitch. With this Terra Orb, you can terrestrialize your Pokémon during battle. Let's see. After it terrestrializes, I'm pretty sure your Quaxley will be... a Water-type. Normally, you gotta take special classes to be able to get one of these Terra Orbs, but I put in a good word for you. Now, time to get a little You'll learn to use it faster in battle than if I just explained to you. Wait, what? You want this kid to practice wailing on us with this Terra Pokémon, is that it? Got a problem? You want to battle me instead? Uh, never mind. I'll take my chances with the new kid. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Oh, this is going to be good. Young Goose. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah terrestrial. It's probably going to be a button on the side like it was with Mega Evolution and uh, Z Moves and Dynamax, all of that. Yep, here it is. Let's go, Water Gun. Let's get that extra stab boost. Look at him! Look at him! Oh! Nice! The way that Quaxley looks when he's terrestrialized? Beautiful. Oh, Fletchling learned Ember!
Yeah. Shut up and you both of you get out of my faces. Excuse me? Hold up. Shadow, right? I have to use smartphone so I can talk to you. Hope you don't mind. I'm sorry, who? My name's Cassiopeia. But never mind that. It's you I want to talk about. I hear you're a trainer with serious potential. If that description is accurate, there's something I'd like to ask of you. Tell me, Shadow. You know about Team Star, right? Yeah. Great. I appreciate you being up front here. Team Star is a group of troublemakers formed by some academy students a while back. They cause headaches for the school and try to bring other students down to their level. Oh, a cop, pause. I just no I just now noticed the freaking Zorwa on the chair. Let's go. And I refuse to sit idly by and let them get away with it. So I've come up with a plan to bring down Team Star and force him to disband for good. Really? Really? I call it Operation Starfall. Frickin' Two games! Two games in a row! It contains the word Starfall. Yeah, Sonic Frontiers, Starfall Islands. Pokemon Scarlet Violet, Operation Starfall. What the fuck? But I'll need allies to carry out this operation, and I'd like you to be one of them. Mm-hmm. No need to reply right this second. We can discuss the details some other time. Till then, I'll leave you to it. Bye. Professor Sada! Hello, Shadow. It's nice to meet you. My name is Professor Sada. I carry out Pokemon research within the great crater of Paldea. At a site known as Area Zero. Damn, that's a that's a big crater. And I had to jump into the crater to fight the Night Titan in Sonic Frontiers. The professor is, in fact, a graduate of our fine academy, as well as a splendid researcher. Well, allow me to get straight to the point. Shadow, student ID number 805C393. You are the student who travels with the unusual Pokemon Coridon, is that correct? Yes. Thank you. I appreciate that you are honest in confirming the facts. Hey, for you, I'll be honest. <laughs> okay. I'm done. I'm done. Ah. <laughs> uh. Not that I... I do not mean to offend you. In fact, I wish to ask for your assistance. Assistance? Eh! Coridon, what are you doing? Oh. Oh. How good to see that you were... Well, it's been quite a while since we last met. Coridon was once in my care, you see. Its Pokeball was also originally mine. I assume you received it from a young man called Arvin. I am no longer in any position to be able to manage that Pokemon myself. This is what I would ask of you. Will you continue looking after Coridon on my behalf? Of course! I do appreciate your agreement. Coridon has been has been greatly weakened and is currently incapable of battle. It can, however, take on a form of specialized take on a form of specialized for mobility. In all likelihood, it will require some time to fully regain the capabilities it once had. Fresh water, nice. Oh, this is one of the Terra dens, isn't it? All around Paldea, you may spot gleaming crystals emitting brilliant beams of light. If you investigate one, 
you'll be able to take on a Terra Raid battle and try to defeat a powerful Terra Pokemon. In Terra Raid battles, you'll work together with other trainers to battle powerful Terra Pokemon. You can battle alongside faraway friends while you're in online mode, or nearby friends while you're in offline mode. These battles will pit you against Terra Pokemon with rare Terra types. If you and your allies can work together to defeat the Terra Pokemon, you'll have a chance to catch it and also get special items. Looks like Sunkern, but the Terra type is Dragon? And Terra typing is psychic for Ralts. Help us arrive. Now you've got a full party to raid with. NPCs, god damn it. And I think this one, uh, for the Terra raid battles, it's not really turn based this time around. You can just. Whale on the freaking Pokemon, I think. What the fuck? Someone had the same- one of the NPCs had the same idea as me. This is a Curlia. The rules of Terror Raid Battle. In a Terror Raid Battle, you'll try to defeat a Terror Pokemon within the time limit. If your Pokemon is knocked out, it will be revived after a while, but you'll also take a time penalty, so try to avoid letting your Pokemon faint if you can. You can also perform a special action in Terra Raid Battles, cheering. By cheering from for your side, you can do things like boosting the stats of the Pokemon on your side, or helping them recover their health. You can perform cheers three times per battle. We almost, uh, we almost got, uh, Sunken. Hold up. Heal up. Heal up. Everyone heal up. <laughs> Sunken's almost gone. What do you mean it fainted? There was still some left in the frickin' bar. I'll catch it. Might as well. With a Dragon-type Terra? That's interesting. See, a Grass-type like Sunkern or Sunflora, but the Terra-typing is Dragon? That's an interesting thing right there. Oh, wow. Oh, here we go again with the experience candies. God damn it. Experience. So I got four experience candy extra small and then one experience candy small. 
The experience candies was what made sword way too easy for me. Because of all the freaking wild uh, raid dens. Wait, it does it out in the open instead of the freaking blue screen? Oh, ho, 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 this is gonna be good. Let me see the second form. What is that? Quaxley evolved into Quaxwell. What is that? <laughs> oh my god. Practicing Pokemon. These Pokemon constantly run through shallow waters to train their legs, then compete with each other to see which of them kicks most gracefully. What the fu- I now regret not picking either Fuecoco or Sprigatito. Began eating something. Yeah, I found it all right. Oh, he has shelter? Oh, that's good. That's a, that's a... I got my terrestrial eyes going on. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I do want to check some, uh, typing? Okay, so it's just pure rock. Got it. So I'm assuming the anger shell activates when its health gets down to half, I think. But in response, it ends up Raising its attack, special attack, and speed, but also decreasing its defense and special defense. It acts the same way as Shell Smash, but instead of sharply raising its stats, it only regularly raises. Nice job, Quaxwell! Greetings, Challenger! Hm. What is up with this dude? You did well to come this far. I am Brassius, an artist specializing in grass-type Pokémon. I'm also the gym leader here at the Artisan Gym. I was observing your gym test from atop the windmill, you know. The perception you displayed in finding some floor was truly... Uh, how shall I describe it? Yes. It was truly avant-garde. I have no idea what that means. I only pray that you might demonstrate that eye for beauty in our battle as well. And no talk. We must begin creating our collaborative work of art. I trust that you are ready. It is time for our masterpiece to take shape. Gym Leader Bresius. Paddle Hey! Now I can't. 
I don't, uh, I'm still in between which Lilligant I prefer, either the Univan version or the Hisuian version. Three Pokemon, okay. Oh yeah, I forgot the flying type crystal was a freaking set of balloons. Pack. Oh shit. Whooper. Small if. Uh, no, I'll keep my Pokemon in. Hey, small live. What's up? Wants to wait. Lechonk wants to learn covet. Oh, wait. Let's, let's leave this artistic endeavor to its conclusion at once. Now, those of you that don't know, Sudowoodo, this gym leader specializes in grass type Pokemon, but Sudowoodo is a rock type Pokemon. But I think I know why he has Sudowoodo. It's because of his Terra type. I will call it Truly Wudo. Terrestrialized Sudowoodo. Grass type. Still got the crowd chanting from Sword Shield. Uh. Trailblaze. Oh shit. You did your best, Fletchinder. Wait. Uh, no. Wait. It's because I want Fletchinder to get the experience points. Speed Rose, oh shit. Wow, three thousand poke dollars for winning. <laughs> okay. The fucking guitar, dude.
Challenged by Mela of Team Stalker. Right here, right now, you're going down. Funny, you took the words right out of my mouth. Sunlight turned harsh because of drought, yep. But you think a little bit of sunlight ain't gonna... It's gonna do something to me? Oh, what the fuck? I was hoping I'd get the frickin' poison point would get lucky. Bro, the freaking guitar, dude. The fact that there's a second Pokemon makes me nervous. Wait, that's a Pokemon? What the fuck? Speed- oh no.
Not the way I wanted to spit roast a pig. Now that Whooper's back, if I'm lucky enough... Poison Point? Fuck! I was hoping Poison Point would hit. And music, however, it's pretty good. Shit. I might just have to retreat and try this again another time. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna just accept my fate. And then the burn finishes me off. What? 3 HP? What the fuck?
Yeah. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's see. Been playing so far for three and a half to four hours now. So far, I'm loving it. There are a few, uh, obviously, uh, video glitches here and there. But that's to be expected. Not every open world game is perfect. Every, every single open world game has its own flaws in some way. But overall, this is start. This is really great right off the bat, because I've already taken down the first Titan, which was uh. Hold up. Am I able to look at the pictures I have? So I've already taken down the, uh, I can't seem to find the pictures, but anyway. So it seems I've already uh, taken down the first Titan, which was the Stonecliff Titan. And then I've taken down the grass type gym leader. And I made an attempt at defeating Mela of Team Star, obviously that was a fail. But I'll have to go back I'll have to go back and re uh, level up my Pokemon a bit and redo that next time. Obviously, like, po the level grinding is going to be off camera, obviously, but I won't progress through the story off camera. I want to save that for on camera. So, next time I get on. Next time I get on camera. Uh, it, my Pokemon are obviously going to be a higher level than they are now. As far as story-wise, the closest ones are Mela of Team Star and you have the Electric Gym Leader over here. Uh, Iono, Supercharged Streamer, is what she's called. So, the next time I get on camera, those are going to be the two that I deal with first and foremost. So it's going to be Mela, of, uh, the Fire-type boss of Team Star, and then Iono, the Electric-type Gym Leader. But, and I feel like I'm a broken record, but I am going to be uh, doing a little bit of level grinding just to level up my party at the moment uh, before I try take on Mela again. Let's double-check my party real quick. I'm uh, going to get rid of my webcam. So I have a level 22 Quack, uh, Quaxwell, a level 16 Paldean Wooper, level 19 Luxio, level 16 Ralts, level 16 Lechonk, level 19 Flechinder. And, hmm. I feel like if I just level, I feel like the main ones for right now, if I just level up maybe Quaxwell, Wooper, and Lechonk to where they get more water type moves and ground type moves, then I feel like I'd be more solid to uh, stand a chance against Mela. But then again, her Torkoal is level 27, and the freaking car is level 26. So I need all three of them to be at a minimum of level 25. At most. That way I can stand a better chance. And save the terrorist, uh, save the freaking Terrestrialize until the final against the car. And when that's said, but... I think I'm going to take a break for tonight. This has been one hell of a blast so far. I'll see y'all next time I play Pokemon Scarlet. Peace.